Hi Stitchers, it's Autumn again, and thank you for joining me. Um, I am going to be doing the cross stitch September tag, and I am, first of all, I would like to really say it, I'm sorry about the lighting right now. Um, it's night where I'm at, and it's a little dark right now, and I'm also apologize if I'm talking a little softly. Uh, my daughter is asleep in the next room. And I'm trying not to be too loud. I don't want to wake her. So if I am, I apologize. But just hold on with me, I hope. So anyway, I'm going to start with the questions. Um, I have them written down here. That way I don't forget. Um, number one, what is your favorite color in the TMC Fred? Um, Actually, I'm not using DMC thread right now. Um, long story short, I was giving a, a big a gift full of different colored threads that are not DMC. Um, there's something else, and basically I've been using that um, for my projects because I'm just not picky and I'll just use whatever I'm given. So. Um, but I do have a favorite color from from those spreads. Um, I'm not even sure what the name is. I'm sorry. <laughs> but let me get it for you. It's, a, it's actually in my little pocket. Um, I keep my threads here for my current projects. <laughs> my little frog pouch. I love it so much. So anyway, I am going to put it on the paper here. And hopefully you can see it better because I know the lighting is really bad. So, I hope that's coming out. Oh, maybe not. I'm sorry. Anyway, it is a, um, <laughs> it is a, uh, fuchsia color. Pink. And that is currently my favorite color I'm working with right now. My color, I, my favorite colors just change all the time. I guess. <laughs> Anyway, the next question on here is, um, do you like to cross-stitch winter or Christmas scenes, and are you currently working on one now, or planning on working on one? Uh, the answer to that is yes, yes, yes. I love to cross-stitch winter and Christmas. It is probably my favorite thing for cross-stitching. I know there's a lot of stitchers on here um, that don't um, like it because it's, you know, it's only out for a little while, um, but that doesn't really bother me all that much, actually. I think it makes it more special to me. It's like, well, it's, to me it's like if you bring out a Christmas tree each year and fill it with ornaments and you see it once each year and you just look forward to seeing that every year and it just more special. It's um passed down through the you know, through the family and just it becomes more special and I don't know. I also love um Christmas scenes <laughs> and it just they make me really happy happy. But you know, that's me, I love the cozy and charming and just whimsical scenes and just I guess it just matches who I am and just makes me happy. And I am currently kind of working on something right now. Um more Christmas gift, but um I'm kind of Christmas winter scene. I'm working on Olaf from Frozen for my daughter. Uh, but that's not the only thing. I am going to be working on if I have enough time. That's always the issue, is enough time. And too many projects, not enough time. You know how it is. <laughs> but anyway, yes. Um, this is um, a pattern book that I got um, at Goodwill yeah, for 99 cents. And I am a big, 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 big Winnie the Pooh fan. I love Winnie the Pooh. I haven't grown out of it. Um, 
I probably never will. I just love waiting the poo. But anyway, I found this at the store and I was so happy. Because uh, uh, you know, it just really tickled me and I'm just so happy that I found it for such a good price, too. Anyway, um, start rambling and get to the project. Yes, this is the one that I plan on stitching and I hope I have enough time for it. It's Pooh Bear and he's uh, acting as Santa and um, Piglet is in the stocking peeking out. I really love this and I just really hope I have enough time to get to it. Anyway, um, another, well this one is more, I'm guessing more towards wish list and future, future projects I have to do someday. Is, uh, this is from the Better Homes and Gardens Across Stitch Christmas. I was given to this book by um, family members, so it was really neat that I was able to get that. Anyway, this is what I want to do. It is a little snowman family right there. I think that is really cute. I hope to do that. And another one I have to do is the Santa Claus here. I hope you'll be able to see him. Yeah. Um, I don't like the card greeting pocket thing, and I probably will not do that um, when I stitch him up. I think I'll just stick with the pattern. But uh, I like the lamp he's holding because it has ribbons on there. I thought that just adds really extra detail and makes him look very distinguished. So I like that. And there's another one in here too. There's an angel. There it is. I hope to make this up for um, my daughter one day and I really love her. And she has the pigtails stick out here, and she's got little bells over here. And she's just adorable. A very sweet stocking pattern. And I love her. And I will be very happy if I can get that stitched up, and that can be something my daughter can hold on to for years, and something special for her. It's a good, very nice keepsake. Right. And lastly, these ones would probably be little ornaments I plan to do for my tree. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time grabbing the book. It's very heavy. This is 2001 Cross Stitch Designs by Ben Harms and Garden. This is my favorite cross stitch book that I have um, because it is such a big one and it's filled with lots and lots of variety of patterns. And I like it too because they're quick and simple and you can't beat that. <laughs> and you um, make a lot of cute little cards and ornaments with it. Um, what other thing I like to make is bookmarks. I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> anyway, I plan on doing these two little gingerbread men. And I think there's a little gingerbread girl, a little man. Anyway, and I plan to do, I haven't decided which one yet, but it's either this angel or this angel, or my stepmom. She loves angels, and um, I hope to make it into a little pendant for her. I've been seeing these little um, pendants on SD lately, and I'm hoping that I will be able to figure out how to do something like that for her. Because, um, well, she also loves jewelry too, so. Okay, I I had two more right here. I'll show you. Next. This little Santa star here. 
I thought that was really neat. And he has a little checkered belt on there. I think it's so, so adorable. And then he has a matching little buggy over here on this page, the snowman page. That is a little star snowman. And he is so cute. I really hope you guys are seeing this. I know. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry if the light is bad. I apologize again. So, so yes. Definitely a big Christmas stitcher. Okay. Um... Are you a reader? And what books are you currently reading? Oh gosh. <laughs> this may take a while. I am a big, 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 big reader. I read a lot. And when I'm not stitching, or when I'm not sewing, I'm reading. That is probably one of the things. Those are the three things I do to relax and calm down, so you will definitely be seeing me with the book. So anyway, um, the genres I like, um, that's kind of hard too, because I like a big variety of genres, and um, I like mainly romance, um, because I am a happy after after happily ever after, I'm sorry, I'm tongue-tied, happily ever after girl. I really do like the happy endings. Um, I also like history. I'm a big history fan. I like fantasy and sci-fi and um, pretty much anything I can get my hands on to. Except, I'm sorry to say, I am, I'm, I don't like textbooks. <laughs> That's basically because I'm a student and I have to read them even though I don't want to. It's just part of life. No, anyway. Um, anyway, so these are a couple of books I'm reading. This is going to be a big... Oh, well, this is going to be a while. <laughs> the first one uh, I've actually read before and it's one of my all-time favorites. And it's actually a new copy because um, I had to buy it, and my other one was falling apart, because I read it so many times. It says, Teresa Merideros, I think I'm saying her name wrong, Breath of Magic, and this is really a great book, if you are, uh, love Bewitch, if you're a big Bewitch fan, and it's also perfect for Halloween, this is a great book, and it's so funny. It's about basically uh, a woman who um, time travels and she's a witch and she comes into modern days and she, you know, gets into a little mischief. I don't know if I should. No, I'm not going to do a spoiler. Mm -mm. I'll let you find out yourself, but I'll just like, tell you that you won't be laughing the whole time you read this book. It's my favorite. This is another one, it's kind of, it's a Christmas book, so it's a little out of season. It is Candace Camp, A Winter Scandal. Um, I don't know why I decided to read this now, but um, I love it. I've read it before, and it's just a really, really sweet story, and I love it. And, you know, you'll notice with me that I like to go back and reread my books a lot. Um, it's a comfort thing, I think. You find a, a good book and it, I don't know, it's like cuddling up with a big blanket. And it just it brings a lot of comfort back into your life. <laughs> Another one I have reread and I'm reading again. Oh, this thing is, <laughs> I need to buy another copy. It's wonderful. This is uh, C.L. Willis, Lady, Lady of Light and Shadows. This is another one of my really all-time favorite books. Um, it's part of a, a part of a series, and it's the second one. 
and it is more mostly fantasy, and it is a really wonderful story. Um, and I recommend anyone who likes fantasy to pick up a copy of this series because it is it's great. I have read it over and over and over. Um, read it <laughs> every couple of months, and you can tell I just it's falling apart. Poor book. <laughs> Okay, um, another two I am reading, um, actually rereading, is, um, I'm a big Christine Van, uh, Vihan, uh, fan, and I love, love her books, and, um, anyway, this is actually one of the first ones I've ever read of any of her books. It's called Dark Demon. I'm rereading that one again. And, um, Christine the Hands Dark Predator. I'm rereading that one too. So, anyway, um, uh, this is a, not a romance. This is more kind of, um, non fiction. It's, it's a wonderful story. Um, this is called Wild by Cheryl Strand. Did yeah, Strand? That's right. Um, found and lost. I mean, from lost to found on the Pacific Crest Trail. A great book. Um, really, a wonderful story. And it's about the woman who um, went through some hardships in her life, and she decided to go by herself hiking on the Pacific. Chris Trail and just her emotional journey of finding herself and kind of the things she went through on, on the trail. It's really a wonderful book. Let's see, um, I'm also rereading um, Animal Vegetable Miracle A Year of Food and Life by Barbara. Kings over. Oh, I'm sorry. You'll notice I'm really bad at saying last names. So I'm sorry. Anyway, I read this one before and it was actually one in the class. And um, I loved it because it was a textbook style. <laughs> and um, it's really a wonderful book. And it, it makes you rethink um, our food culture a lot and more about eating locally and it is just a great book and I recommend anyone to read this if you want to think more about um, how to eat. Um, and lastly it's another book I got from the library. I, I haven't started this one yet. I plan on to doing it soon. I'm actually reading the, the first one which is downstairs if I don't feel like going to get it it's right now. It's uh, Stephanie Lauren's Loving Rose. So, I haven't started that one yet, but I plan to soon. Oh, and I have one more in here. You can just hold on for a second. Here it is. Another romance. <laughs> um, this is Erin Knightley's The Bear Next Door. And I'm just partly in this. I've never read her books before, but it sounds like a really good book. And I'm looking forward to reading it. And um, I started it last night, actually, and so far I am enjoying it a lot. It's kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, that is my book stash in by my bed. <laughs> oh, I tell them I read a lot. And, um, but mostly it's, I, I go through where I do a lot of rereading. It's just um, a comfort thing. I don't like just reading a book once and forgetting about it. I like to pick it up over and over and over and over again. So, yeah. Okay, lastly, on the question list, three facts about yourself. Oh, this is going to be hard. <laughs> um... 
I'm not really good at talking about myself, so I will, I don't know, I guess I'll just swing it. Um, okay, um, I am a belly dancer. Yes, I know. Kind of surprising, isn't it? Yeah, I am a belly dancer. I have been belly dancing for, I think, going on six or seven years. Um, I actually started learning from my mother, who was also a belly dancer. She used to hula and uh, belly dance in Hawaii and ballet. Uh, 